What's up YouTube, it's me Justin, I'm an opera singer. I wanna give a big thank you and shout out to Ace for sponsoring today's video. This is Arion Twisted Coil. Let's go. shouldn't apologize. Wow, there's so much going on. Um, now, I'm going to tell you all right now, I'm going to need help identifying who these singers are because I don't know their names. First off, I've got to say, I've got my handy dandy notes. First thing I have to say is I appreciate how um, Aryan, I believe Aryan composed this, he's able to create dimension with sound by using the different timbres that sound has. And I think it's a beautiful thing because what, at least what I got was this nice roundness. First um, distinctive sound and timbre my ear caught onto was that the bright percussive melody. It's like creating this very dreamy, otherworldly effect. <laughs> And then there, there was that da 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 da, just that constant bouncing back and forth between two notes. I think they were going down and then sometimes going up. I couldn't catch them all, but it kind of created this never ending, just tossing back and forth. <laughs> Ne, 
then you had the timbre of the drums, the per another type of percussion, which I appreciated because it was it was present, but it wasn't a hard hit for the drums. It was a not a heavy sound at all. On top of all of these, you also had the vocalist who in his own way was creating another dimension, just adding to this idea, this layering of, of atmosphere. I love how he was doing this with dynamic choices. Um, he was doing a lot of decrescendoing, which was gorgeous, either by just doing it naturally with his own vocal production or by, I think, moving the mic away. I think I caught him doing that. also noticed he also was using a good amount of vibrato but on the last word of the phrase ah and his vibrato is so distinctive it's beautiful adding again to this idea of just this very round 3d effect Another thing I want to commend the singer on is I like how he is giving us a very controlled and focused sound in his upper register. He's really controlling the amount of sound that is coming up and out of his body even though he's singing in his higher and upper register with chest voice up there. That's a very, very hard task. And what I've noticed what he is doing is he's keeping his mouth a little bit more on the lateral side when doing this controlled sound while singing up in his upper register with chest voice, which allows him to control the volume. Again, please let me know in the comment section who these vocalists are but the second vocalist that came in his line interrupted the main vocalist line and I liked how he was off in the distance kind of to the back of the stage and then him interrupting this line which kind of just created this idea of a 3d round effect I'm really really enjoying this multi-dimensional aspect with different timbres I thought it was a very cool effect how there was a sudden drop in sound it didn't drop completely but the sound the volume dropped I like this effect and it happened on the words Drown the ocean, drain the sky, wash the color from the sun. I just pulled up the lyrics. Still the thunder, derail the earth, burn the stars out one by one. We come undone. I think it's interesting how the instrumentation and the volume dropped significantly during these words, specifically because of how drastic and dramatic the words are. Still the thunder, 
derail the earth Burn the stars out one by one the drama of the words really matches the idea of the dramatization of dropping the sound out. So the words drown the ocean, drain the sky, wash the color from the sun. These seem like really impossible tasks and I feel that the dr dramatic dropping of sound is really trying to get you as the listener to focus on what the singer is actually saying. Okay, so first off, that transition from the last part that I paused at to now was nice. It was a nice buildup. I love how the sound dropped out and you can kind of anticipate that something was going to happen, mainly because the first part where we first paused didn't sound like the song was about to end. It sounded like something definitely needed to continue. Burn the stars out one by one. To emphasize that anticipation, they dropped out the sound so you can maybe think about, well, what is going to happen? What sound is going to kind of interrupt this drop of sound to create a whole new section? Loved that touch. I have to go back to 
the main vocalist because the control he has over his voice is super impressive. It's like he's singing high, but it, no, he is singing high, but it doesn't sound like he is singing as high as he is singing. That's because he has such good control and great pitch right when the note starts. So I wrote down, rewrote down, drown the ocean, drown the ocean, drain the sky. Okay, let's pull out our keyboard and figure out what's happening here. Drown the ocean. Try tone. Shine. Woo. Interesting. So this section where he's singing, drown the ocean, drain the sky. Drown the ocean. He is singing B flat four, B natural four, B flat four, down to E natural four. First off, singing a B natural four and a B flat four with as much chest voice as he is bringing up is extremely high. That move from the B flat down to the E creates a tritone or an aug augmented fourth. Da, 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 da. That augmented fourth tritone is a super unstable sound, at least in Western music. That naturally wants to move to a stable interval, unstable to stability, the idea of tension and resolution. I thought it was super interesting too that this tritone, ocean, that unstability, unresolved sound also is paired with these extreme words, drown the ocean, something that sounds like an impossible task like we had talked about. Um, question. The the second singer who was on the main stage, is he now up there singing with the other two women? Like, did he just run up there, the guy with the long hair? Or am I totally missing something? I must say that I feel like everyone's diction is really, really, really good. The only reason why I may not understand a word is simply because there's a little bit of imbalance in sound, meaning the band is just so stinking loud, and then therefore the diction is kind of compromised. It's hard to hear both. Specifically, the main guy is really good. He's really good at his T's, his S's, and his P's. He's giving a lot of emphasis on some of these plosive consonances, which adds this extra layer of emotion. So the words are, to wash away the pain, medicate and victimize, to purge you pure again. To wash away the pain, medicate and victimize, to purge you pure again. Man, do you hear how he's enunciating through those sh wash away the pain, medicate and victimize to purge you pure again. Adding all of that emphasis just really drives this um, intensity home. I love it. I think that is him. Commercial. Ugh. Artists, artists, if anything, please, no ads in music videos. I feel like that's the one place. And Wim Hof, don't put an ad in the middle of the video.
We're definitely going back. Um, first thing I want to talk about. There was a very, very intense rhythmic pattern within the drums um, during the part where they were saying lyrics. Did you think you'd find the answer behind the light? Did you think you'd find a way to disconnect your favorite pain? The intensity really built leading up to this part. And I thought it was really interesting how there was more of a rhythmic drive during this question because this isn't the first time they've said this. This essentially is being asked twice. Did you think you that there was more intensity on the second round just reiterated the idea that the question is being asked multiple times. Can we talk about, can we talk about that beautiful drop in sound and volume for the violin introduction before I was so rudely interrupted by a commercial. So the lyrics read, life shivers in the distance, whisper it away. I thought this was beautiful because it created a whole new atmosphere during again which words have been repeated. It was still a nice light sound uh, the first time but this was a, a very dramatic light um, pensive sound almost. <laughs> I thought that was a gorgeous way to highlight, highlight the violin solo as well as his voice during this moment. And also notice how the first time he sang this, he sang this with more open vowels. You really heard a nice crystal clear open vowel. And there was more connection from vowel to consonant. It was a very through, very legato line. <laughs> The second time he sang it, he cut the word short. 
uh, the vowel for distance, uh, the distance, was not as prominent as the first one. Instead of keeping it open, he actually closed the vowel quite early by bringing in the N consonant. I love how there was just these two very distinctive moments for one phrase that was said twice. I just can't get over how crystal clear his high notes are. They're so pure, extremely focused. It's dead center on the pitch from the go. And that is not easy to do. It really is this kind of out there vulnerable moment because the very first note of the phrase is just an extremely high note. And he is nailing it every single time. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Big thank you to Ace again for sponsoring today's video. Also make sure that you comment down below who these singers are and also let me know if they have bands of their own or their own music out. Lastly, make sure you check out the description box for ways you can keep in touch with me, get access to exclusive perks such as through Patreon or my membership and or take a voice lesson with me. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.